Hi, I'm Sheila and Bajaj and I'm going to talk about marriage compatibility according to numerology. Now we've heard for eons of time people looking at compatibility according to astrology and you know why do people look at that? Like a lot of people ask me is that even important? You know uh, I'm not able to match my kundli with the other person. Is it even important? In the older, older days uh, we had people uh, doing that because you can tell a lot about a person's personality, their ambition, their life path, their goals, the way they would react in certain situations, sexual compatibility, emotional quotient, all of that uh, based on the planets. Similarly, with numerology, we look at your planets and we look at uh, friendly planets and enemy planets. We look at is this planet clashing with you or is this planet vibing with you with the same level or the same frequency. For example, water and oil. Now water is fine by itself and oil is fine by itself but they don't mix. So you want to know whether uh, is your partner the same frequency as you or are they vibrating at a different level. Now this plays a very important role when it comes to the future. So are both partners looking at stability, grounding, adventure? Like are both partners looking at ambition or are they very complacent? Uh, is your emotional compatibility strong or you know one person's detached and one person's super sensitive and emotional so all of this matters when it comes to numerology we look at compatibility based on your planets and uh, that's why it's very important because the success of a relationship can depend largely on whether you know your you have good planets uh, connected to you or, or you or your partner basically does your partner have a friendly planet that's connected to you or is your partner having your enemy planets uh, and if such a case then we definitely advise the couple to look at other planets to balance out this clash for example there's always a remedy when it comes to numerology there's always a remedy on how to fix it so we give your give you a name correction compatible to make sure that uh, you know it sort of comes in between it's like for example let's say husband and wife are having a clash let's say there's two countries that are having a clash then what do you do you bring in a third party that's neutral that doesn't allow these two to fight so we bring in neutral planets that are friendly to this as well as that so that there's no clash so that both people are compatible uh, and both planets do not fight and clash with each other. Now when it comes to compatibility of numbers with regard to certain planets, there are some numbers that even though being negative, like for example a number 4, even though being negative ruled by Rahu, uh, a number 4 is compatible only with another number 4. Uh, so when you have certain numbers like let's say you are a certain number or you have a partner who's a certain number you got to be a little cautious on remedies for that particular planet uh, i tell people if you're a number four you will never be able to be understood by another number make sure that your partner is also a number four so even though they're not it's not like it's negative and negative getting together but emotionally both number fours are halwa so they're going to be super compatible in any relationship and marriage now if your partner is a number eight so you're bound to have a certain kind of a level of challenges so you don't want to marry someone again with let's say a number four or a number two because they're going to make your uh, your turmoil even worse so you want to marry people with stronger planets now if you've fallen in love and you don't have a choice then you want to look at uh, you know activating your planets with with stone with yantra with a name correction with remedies in your house to activate certain planets and not really just uh, let the planetary turmoil increase uh, there are some planets that actually activate negatives of some planets for example I'll, I'll give you a small example uh, if you're a number eight uh, and let's say you're marrying someone with a number four the turmoil in your life or the struggle in your life will increase uh, if you're a number eight and you marry a number two the turmoil again in that number eight pattern will increase again if you're a number four and you're marrying someone who's a two it will cause a lot of havoc uh, and on the flip side if you're a number six person great to marry another number six or a number one so there are some numbers that are compatible with each other and there are some that are enemy to each other so it's best to get a consult done to know am i compatible with this person it's always a professional who will go really really deep into uh, you know your chart and also look at different methods different formulas there are different formulas in numerology that look at uh, what are your missing planets 
what are your strong planets what are your enemy planets and we kind of do a little bit of balancing of equations like in chemistry uh, to kind of make your planets work for you and uh, you know make your relationship work for you